Hey everybody, it's me, Bryson Booker. Happy 4th of July, everybody. And today, I have a music review. Now, the same time last year, I did a video on July 4th. Might as well make it a tradition. A music review every July 4th. Because last year, uh, MTV, VH1, and all the other music networks, they did this whole block of music videos. And it was like, I was like, this is the... And I said, this is the only time MTV... It's being MTV for this particular day. Well, this year, they're not even doing it. Instead, they're showing a freaking mar marathon of awkward. So, in order for me to get my music fixed today, I have this. This, is re this was released in 2000 by MTV. It's Inside TRL. And then you got a picture of Carson Daly right there. Now, if you don't know about TRL, which you should if you're a 90s nostalgic person like me, or if you've been watching that MTV in your parents' basement for a whole bunch of time, you should know about TRL. started in 1997, and it was pretty much a playlist of the most popular music videos. Kids, teenagers, requested videos with, well, I don't can, I think they did a microphone. They would go out in the street, hey, what music video do you want to see? And they would dedicate music videos to their husbands, their wives, their boyfriends, their girlfriends, their siblings, the person who's dead. And they would play the music video. And sometimes they would have live performances. Now, at first, TRL did, was not in a studio. Well, it was in a studio, but it did not have a studio audience. Then by 1999, we have the studio audience and all the live performances. This captures the best of TRL from really... There's no, there's no uh, scenes in this video older than 1998. Um, a lot of it does not come from when TRL first started. It's kind of recent. Recent as in 99-2000 scenes from the show itself. And it aired weekly. So Monday through Friday, TRL aired. Kind of like when you get off of school. About around 3, 4. Anyway, I'll read you the description. You have another picture up here of this uh, lady flying, looking into the studio. There's the top. Alright, let me see here. Experience all the excitement of live television. Inside TRL is an ultimate backstage pass to MTV's Times Square studio. See how TRL has become... A hit-making machine of a new generation. A new generation being 2000. That generation was lost in 2008 when TRL was canceled. <laughs> I still get teary-eyed, but it, I, I gotta keep doing this review. Okay. Includes celebrity appearances, bloopers, and the best musical performance. And the best musical performances. And, of course, TRL host, Carson Daly. This is Carson Daly. Ladies loved him. And the best musical performances on the planet, yes, are on this DVD. But, when I got this on Amazon, I got this for my birthday. Yes, I got this for a birthday present. I'm weird like that. Anyway, when I got this online, there were some mixed reviews on Amazon about this DVD, uh, our video. Some people said it was good. It was awesome. Others, a lot of other people said, no, it's bad. Don't buy it. Me? I wanted to form my own opinion. So that's why I'm giving you a review on it. And my response, it's decent. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a balance beam. It's good and bad. It's, it's kind of balances throughout the whole video. And the video itself is 60 minutes, so it, it, it's close to an hour. The music, uh, the performances you get on this includes the behind-the-scenes footage, blah, 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 and performances by NSYNC. Let me, let, let me just let you know, the biggest boy bands, of course, are on this video. NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, uh, 98 Degrees with uh, a young Nick Lachey, who, you know what, this is so awkward. Nick Lachey is in this video. It turns out Nick Lachey would be in the same studio hosting VH1's Big Morning Buzz almost, uh, it's, geez, 
14 years later. Isn't that crazy? It's weird. 98 Degrees is on here. Uh, but anyway, you got NSYNC, Tearing Up My Heart, Limp Bizkit. I'm sorry, I, I still don't know how to say that name to this day. Ricky, Backstreet Boys, I'll Never Break Your Heart. The boy band from Britain, Five, who only... <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of loonies. They only didn't even have one hit. <laughs> what a bunch of loonies. When, any <laughs> when the lights go out. <laughs> that was their only hit. <laughs> it makes the other boy bands today from Britain look good. <laughs> anyway, I gotta move on. You got 98 Degrees, Because of You, Christina, Christina Aguilera, Genie in a Bottle. If you don't know that song, listen to it. Then it'll be stuck in your head for times and times to come. And then you got Stone Temple Pilots, which is another rock band, but they did an acoustic version of Sour Girl. That's all on this VHS, along with a mixed behind-the-scenes video. Okay, let me get into the behind-the-scenes. Okay, so yes, this is supposed to take you behind the scenes of TRL, and it does, but my complaint with it is it doesn't go in depth that well. I mean, yes, let's take a, it, now, it does, it does give you a gist of how TRL is made. We gotta get all this stuff set up, blah, 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 but some of the questions that I still had, I was wondering... I'm like, well, how do you guys get all those people in there to see the show? I mean, do they have to buy tickets? Do they just walk in? I mean, do you guys guys pick a whole bunch of people off the street and say, hey, come and watch this show or else you're dead? I wanted to know that. Some scenes, most scenes are just, um, they're just scenes from previous episodes of TRL. Previous being from March 1999, April 1999. That's why I said most of the scenes in this video were recent. I mean, this video was just released a year later, in 2000, so most, pretty much, they're recent. So, if you were a kid watching this back in 2000, you're like, hey, I've seen this before. Half of the stuff on here, I've seen before. But if you're a kid like me watching it in 2014, you're like, crap, I've never seen this before. Or maybe I did see it, I just don't remember it. Hey, there was more stuff I saw when I was a baby in 1999 than you can imagine. Anyway... Um, you get behind-the-scenes footage, and like I said, it's not the greatest behind-the-scenes footage. There is a lot of stuff they could have improved on. Um, like, just go more in-depth. Like, how did TRL start? When did you guys get this big idea of putting the most popular music videos on television? I mean, it's like, it's not, it's not like BET was already doing it with Planet Groove. I mean, like, like yeah, yeah. But, but you know, that was for black people. You know, MTV, you know. Let's move on. Anyway, you get an appearances. You get some appearance appearances from, from music artists. They say, yeah, you're watching TRL, blah, blah, blah. You get the, the little midget from Austin Powers. He makes an appearance with the microphone flashing his butt around, dancing and stuff. And, of course, the thing, the, 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 um, Strong point of this VHS is the performances. The performances are off the chain. I'm telling you. Even that a little, even that performance with the Backstreet Boys. It's okay. <laughs> and then the perform, the last performance is Lip Biscuit. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name. And they don't go in order, just to let you know. Well, do they go in order? No, they really don't go in order, because Lip Biscuit is the last people that perform, and that's not even on TRL. Well, it is on TRL, but it was at MTV's Summer on the Island, or Isle, it was on the Isles of MTV, uh, I think that was recorded maybe in 2000, early summer 2000. But, I, I love it, and <laughs> on the last performance, they blow up a boat. Really? How fun is that? You just blew up a boat. It's not like another boat was going to come and crash into it when you blew up it. And, but I guess that was fun for the teenagers at that time. They were all excited too. Yeah, we just blew up a boat. 
We just blew up a little boat. It was a little boat, but it made a big explosion. Yeah. But anyway, it's a great collector's item. I would I would recommend it. Once again, a lot of people have mixed feelings on this video. Me, myself, I enjoyed it. But once again, like I said, the behind the scenes could have been so much better. Go in depth, people. Go in depth. This kind of relates to documentaries today. They, they give you all the facts and everybody's opinions, but they don't go in depth. But anyway, this is Inside TRL with a beautiful picture of Carson Daly. No, I do not love him. Please don't start that. Anyway, it's Inside TRL. Just look for the picture of the person flying awkwardly in the air looking through the MTV studio. And, of course, the picture with Carson Daly at your, no at your nearest Amazon.com. <laughs> because you, you really can't find this in stores. And <laughs> they probably only had a few of these when it came out. I didn't even know this VHS was made until I actually looked on eBay. And I'm like, whoa, they made this? So, it's Inside TRL. Great VHS. Great nostalgic VHS. Go get it.